Hello and welcome to the Saturday Wrap because it is Saturday again for Saturday the 23rd 23rd, eh? uh, 23rd of January 2021. Um, if you haven't seen it before, the Saturday Wrap is me looking back on the week that ends today, Saturday the 23rd. Um, things that have happened to me, tech, beer, a little bit of politics, uh, a little bit of Covid and a Saturday meme before we start. Still got some Christmas beer going. This is a Berlin Kindle, vice beer, wheat beer, and it's made with Woodruff, which means it's pretty green. Sour, sweet, all very, well, it's an acquired taste, however, I can remember drinking that in the long now departed English bar in the Europa Centre in the centre of Berlin and you'd have an ordinary Kindle, Weisse, which would be amber and then you'd have um, a Weisse with strawberry or raspberry syrup in it and then you'd have this one which was green and that would be a Berlin traffic light. Oh, happy days. Anyway, um, the Saturday meme, the meme of the week, which I usually forget. This week, it's the Bernie Saunders. No, nope, it's Sanders. Bernie Sanders meme. Um, you probably have seen in the news that there's a new American president, um, a Mr. Biden. Um, but the big thing was um, Bernie Sanders. He's the American equivalent of Michael Foote. He was sitting on a chair with a mask on, looking freezing with a set of homemade gloves done by a teacher uh, and sent to him. And then it's gone viral. And you can now get an app where you can put the picture of him anywhere in the world. There's actually a picture of him sitting outside Tiny Rebels Brewery in Rogerstone. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm the new president, and who gets the most publicity? Not me, but Bernie Sanders. That's what I like about the internet. It's all a bit random. It's all very random anyway. So, looking back on this week, um, starting off, and there was an announcement from Mr. Drakeford, which basically said, we are holding back some of the vaccine because we don't want the people who inject it into the paying customers, my emphasis, um, sitting around doing nothing. We'd much rather have it sitting in the fridge. And that caused a furor. Um, I think a lot of people thought, as do I, it doesn't matter how much you got, if you've got it, Get it in the arm. It is a race. It's a race to beat the virus. Um, there was a certain amount of backtracking or I was misunderstood. And then Mr. Vague Guessing came in and said that wasn't what he meant. Uh, blah, 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 blah. But it all goes to show how we do things in Wales. Very badly. Yeah. If you have the stuff, use the stuff. Don't worry about the people who are putting it in. They are not as important as the people you are protecting. And I cannot for the life of me think of any other reason why, obviously I can, why he's doing this. Anyway, update on the pubs. Uh, general consensus now, no pubs until at least May. Which uh, fills me with joy. So also on Monday... Um, in the car parking work, we were having some highly trained tree cutting artisans in to cut down all the overhanging trees and branches and such like. So we had to move a pool car, which no one has started, despite the fact that I know who it belongs to and whose responsible or responsibility it is. Basically, since the pandemic started, and of course this week, um, and over Christmas, it's been a bit nippy. It wouldn't start and surprisingly enough despite the fact I have jump leads 
A lot of cars nowadays, you can't get at the positive terminal or you can't get the jump leads over the positive terminal. Yeah, my little Marge old style battery works a treat. So in the end, on Monday, in the rain, with some colleagues pushing a pool car around the car park, it was covered in mould. <laughs> um, that's the sort of thing that I end up doing. You know, things and what have you. Mind you, talking of that, Storm Christoph, which is Christopher without E E R. Now, I don't know if the UK Met Office or the Irish Met Office came up with the name. I know we share them, but whatever happened to Christopher? Just an academic question, no real reason. Hang on. Mm, I like that. Okay. Uh, in the Rumley Valley and the bottom end of the Taff Valley, I think we got off with it quite well. Bedworth, I was expecting it to be completely flooded and the back garden to be flooded and such like. However, it wasn't. Although uh, a colleague I work with in England her house got flooded, the electrics blew, uh, she's in real trouble. These things are not funny. <sighs> Even in bed was where it didn't flood. A lot of the drains were flooded. Um, supposedly they were all supposed to have been cleared in advance of the storm. I know they weren't. Uh, we need to start dredging the rivers now and clearing the streams and clearing the culverts and such like. Uh, this is happening far too frequently. It's winter, you know. Anyway, moving on. Um, I usually change my bed on a Tuesday, which means I come home from work and then have to clean it and then change the sheets and uh, you vacuum the, um, the bed and the pillows and all that sort of stuff and it's like oh i've never got enough time and i don't want to come home from work and do that and i don't know how i got into that routine long story short tldr i now do it on a sunday but you get into routines and then you just tend to do them because that's when i do them so i'm going to be having a look at all my routines and when i do things and saying why am I doing this this way? Can I change it? Can I do it better? Um, sort of a bit like a New Year's resolution, which I think the only New Year's resolution I've got is to get up to 10k karma points on Reddit. I'm on 7,500 at the moment, so I think that's going to be pretty much it. And the other one is just to be ready to go. If they open the pubs in... Bristol or Worcester or Hereford or somewhere, then I'll just go. Although the way things are happening in Wales will be the last and there'll be travel restrictions and such like. I keep getting asked if I miss the pubs. I certainly do. I like the pubs. I would normally be in a pub in the corner listening to Twit, which I was listening to, uh, drinking a beer. <laughs> Although I'm sitting at home listening to Twit drinking a beer. Um, that's probably a routine. Although it's a routine I want to get back into. Anyway, as I said, the um, uh, phrase or words of the week is the Bernie meme. He really does look like Michael Foot. Politics are the same as well. But it made me chuckle. And in these times when things are bad, having a chuckle is not bad. And the last thing, which sort of comes in from the Beano cast and what like, um, I wanted to start to automate some of the things that I do on the computer. I'm doing this on the Mac at the moment where I have Better Touch tool, which does keyboard macros. And I thought, yeah, um, the browser, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, that sort of thing, um, record a macro and kick that off so they all launch together. So what did I do on the PC? A program called Auto Hotkeys, open source and free. 
Um, it doesn't actually record the macros for you. You have to write them yourself, but it's really easy, apart from finding where Windows Store stores its executables. In the end, I gave up. Well, I know where they are. Um, and what I did is just link to a shortcut, because a shortcut to a shortcut works as well as a shortcut, even though it's a little bit slower. So uh, if you're looking to make things go faster on your PC, auto hotkeys. Um, Google is your friend, although DuckDuckGo is catching up. I wouldn't say quickly, and I wouldn't say it's anywhere near it, but if you're looking for a security enhanced search engine, DuckDuckGo is the one for you. Right, have I got anything else to say? Um, frosty, misty overnight, the sun is out now. My solar powered recharger is recharging in the garden. The line is full of stuff and I am drinking a fine ale from Berlin. I think that's it. Um, thank you for watching. Comments as usual, if you're on Twitter, if you're on Facebook, if you're on WordPress, even if you're on YouTube. Anyway, thank you. Stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.